What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial. Today, I will be showing you guys a full walkthrough of how to make a realistic cartoon head using Manga Studio, aka Clip Studio Paint. Without further ado, let's jump right into this video. The first thing I gotta do is drop the opacity down on the picture. Let's cut this off real quick. Just give it like a. I like to make a white background. So let's put one layer behind the picture and make it white. And then drop the opacity down on our picture. Okay, go to the layer above it. All you gotta do is click this little blank sheet of paper and make a new layer then you want to come over here to this pen tool and then you want to get out the G pen that's what I make the line work with it's the G pen Let's select the color black you can move your uh, stabilization all the way up or you can move it like to 80 something to get a little more control over your lines but the the more you move it up, the more it'll help you correct your lines and make better clean line work. Okay. Let's see. We're going to drop the size down a bit. And for some reason, every time I start on line work, I start with the, with the nostrils. Let's see. Some nice little clean, some clean lines. I'm gonna drop the, the stabilization down a little bit so I can get more control on the dreads. And what I'm doing now is just leaving a big space. Just making sure it, it's every dread is closed off so I can use the paint bucket tool. And then go back later and add the detail. So on this part, we're just trying to cover as much as we can. Let's see. I'll grab our paint bucket. Put our pen tool and finish, finish drawing out the dreads. I'm 
we're gonna do the same thing right here. We're gonna close this off in the inside. So we can just fill in. Then we can just come back later and add the, the detail on that. I'm finna go back and bring the stabilizer down so we can have more control. We're gonna bring the size on, on our brush down. We're just gonna add a little details on the hairs. And I like to go back and forth, like left and right with the hair, so it is just, it'll look natural. So I do some going left, and I do some going right. And I just keep that same, keep that same pattern going. for us to start adding the color so what i like to do i like to create a couple of these layers stick my line work on top and then i click the bottom layer of the blank sheet and i find a skin tone first i find a nice little skin tone Let's see mix it up a little bit That'll be pretty good to start out with. See how that look. I think that's a nice, that's a good little tone to start with. In the areas the paint bucket didn't fill in, I'll just go back myself and I'll fill it in. After I do that, I mute my line work and then we get our magic wand and we select the color. Now after you, you, you select the color you want to come to the layer right above it and then you can run your line work back so you can see. So now when we start doing our shading with the airbrush we can come close to the edges. Just say we come close to the edges and it won't go out the line. So we good on that. So now what I do now, I find a tone that's I like to do dark to light. So start off with like a very dark tone. And then I bring the density down so the blend can be can be pretty good. The higher you got your density up, like it ain't gonna blend this good with the next color. It's just gonna give you exactly what you asking for. But if you bring this density down, it'll kind of fade into it. So you see what I'm saying? So I play with the density. And that's pretty much it. Sometimes I play with the hardness, but most of all, I play with the density and the size when I'm doing shading. And even though I, I'm doing the dark shadows first, I go as light as I can. You know what I'm saying? Cause sometimes I like the sample colors too. Just say if I'm, I'm going light and I like the way that look, I right click onto the new color I just made so I can get a different 
different feel. But yeah, this is how I, this how I shade all my pictures inside Manga Studio. I start dark. I look at all the dark shadows on my picture. And I go for those first. See this kind of blend this with another color. Okay, now let's right click to pick this. Notice he got. building okay make our brush a little wider so we can bring this and what you do with your shadows when you shading and stuff you just bring out the dimension of the picture like you give it shape. So let's see. I want to get like a. I notice he got like a orange tone. So we're gonna get that orange tone. like to do a lot of right clicking grabbing some colors that's not too dark that's kind of blend in with the so I can use that to make different tones of the skin because if you notice our skin tone is not just like one shade it's like a mixture of different tones so that's what I do a lot Like I said, I just keep, I keep building. There you have it, you guys, how to make a realistic cartoon head, man. The more time you put in it, the better it'll be. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things I could have did to it, but you know what I'm saying? More heat coming soon. Make sure you stay tuned, and I'm out this time. <laughs>